I love like that you're so capable and like you can be like you're hanging with Snoop Dogg. What's oh, the I, oh, I, I, I was with Snoop um, last week. And he was just great. He came to New York and, and he was just a well-dressed, uh, happy. How did you guys come together? Like, cause On my now... show, on my show, he came in and cooked uh, brownies and he oh, made, I bet. made some other stuff. <laughs> I've and, made some uh, of those brownies. And he's a, he's, a lovely, he's a lovely guy. He's very smart and good family man. He has a, a fabulous children, fabulous grandchildren. Who saw that, though? Like, that chemistry and connection and just did Some it... Some brilliant producers. You guys are really and a team, and it's like, I it, just wouldn't have seen... Your dog's see? head is so heavy. <laughs> My hand is falling asleep. It feels like 100 pounds. <laughs> Maybe he sleeps too much. <laughs> Speaking of, how do you feel about naps, Martha? I've said on, I've said that I, I have a very strong opinion about them. You don't them. like naps. I don't. Why? I just, it's like I had a relationship with a guy who just napped all the time. Oh. It made me sick to my stomach. Oh. And, and I, he just like napped off when you were talking? Yeah, I just always, he was so tired all the time and I didn't uh, nap all the time. That and sounds I was like, awful. Right? And yeah. so it's, it's really about him. Well, I, I actually take a cat nap in the car. Would you date a man who didn't Napped. work and naps all the time? No, it didn't work. Did I say that out loud? Yes. <laughs> didn't work. Yeah, no, I would not. But but um, that's not what I do. I mean, a nap, a nap when you're tired is good. Okay. Catch up. So you would date a napper? Um, I don't know. I don't know if he did other things. You know, if he were <laughs> the most fabulous, handsome man in the whole world that I was madly in love with and he wanted to take a nap every now and then, that's fine with me. Okay. Well, I... <laughs> I, I wish to manifest that person. Are you going out with somebody that wants to nap and you don't want them to nap? My dating life is a, is such a hot mess that I and I and this then this question I asked myself why can't I meet someone who like knocks me off my socks and I think is hot? I I, I don't know. What's I, I got knocked out of my socks last week by somebody. And, <laughs> I mean, just very attractive. I mean, I still, you, don't you, don't you, you just meet a lot of guys. Where do you go at night? Home. Just, um, don't you go out to dinners and parties and stuff? Your friends have to be sitting, sitting you next to no. eligible young no, men. No, I'm not living that life, Martha. Uh, How do I do it? Well, you better start. You have a lot of friends, and they should be inviting you and taking, they didn't do that for me either, by the way. I was going to say that. I had to do it myself. And this man who knocked you oh, out just, of your socks. He was just, you know, he was, he was, it wasn't exactly appropriate, but um, but it was <laughs> it was good for it was good for a night, you know. Just <laughs> no, nothing happened. Nothing, nothing happened. We didn't go home together or anything, but it was just like a little flirtation. That's nice. I think at this point, the only hedonistic things I have in my life are like food. Like food is a is a big pleasure for me. Yeah. And do you cook or you go out? Do you go out? Um, sometimes. You don't go out for dinner? Sometimes, not really. I'm a kind of a food delivery person. Oh no. I know. I just I'm so boring. Do you know I have never had food delivered to me? Really? Never. Well, I want to do everything like the way you do. <laughs> I want to be you. I want to be like you. You have so much moxie energy, hoods by your hot. You're doing it. You've always been doing it. <laughs> Oh,